I often need to make different size frames, from super small like this to mirror size to regular size for art and pictures. In this video I will show you how to make a framing jig that will allow you to make perfect frames no matter what size you need. So let's get started. Start by finding two pieces of scrap wood that fit nicely in the slots of your table saw. If you need to cut them to fit, go ahead. Then we are going to take them and cut them flush with the surface of the table saw. Take a pencil and make a mark on your piece flush with the surface of the table. Now turn your piece on its side and move your fence until your mark is lined up with the blade. Ensure your blade has enough height and make your cut. Check your piece. You should have a nice snug fit that is flush with the top of the table. Repeat this step for both sides of your tracks. Here I randomly chose 21 inches but you can make yours any size. The purpose of measuring them is to ensure both pieces are the same length. So make your measurements and cut them. Now for this next step, find the thinnest board you have. Choosing a thin base piece allows you to conserve your saw blade. What I mean by this is the thinner your base piece is, the more of your saw blade you can use when cutting frames. Now using your 21 inch mark, or whatever length you chose, cut your base piece into a perfect square. Take your first two track pieces and place them in the slots. Apply a thin line of wood glue to each piece. Now lay your base piece on the slats and square it with the bottom of the table. Clamp them down and place some weight on them until they dry. Find a piece of scrap particle board. Here I use a piece from an old desk off the side of the road. Whatever size you have, cut it into a perfect square. I think mine was around 14 inches. After your base piece has dried, take a flathead screwdriver and remove any excess glue that might have oozed out. This will keep your jig sliding smooth on the table saw surface. Now I am going to make a fence for the jig. I will use some scrap pine wood that I had lying around and cut it to two and a half inches wide. Now divide your base piece in half and place a mark down the center of your board. On each side place another mark across the base piece a little more than halfway down to align your quarters of your particle board allowing for whatever size you cut your particle board to have at least a four inch space on top. You can cut off one of the corners of your particle board like I did, but it's just for looks. Now you can let the glue dry, but I'm impatient here and I throw a few nails in to hold it in place so I can move on. If you do this, just make sure you are putting the brads over the tracks so you don't have any of the brads sticking through the bottom. Now go back and cut a 45 degree angle on your fence pieces. I did this with a miter saw. If I had a framing jig, I would have used it for this. Place your fence in position and glue and nail it down. Raise your table saw blade up to its max height and cut through your jig's fence. Don't go any further, just enough to cut through the fence. Here I take a scrap piece of 2x4 and cut it into a square. This will be used as my safety block. Simply put some wood glue on it and nail it into place. Now go back to the table saw, ensure the blade is lower than the fence, and cut into the safety block before the first real cut is made on the jig. And that's it. Now you have a framing jig that will cut picture perfect frames each and every time. If you're not sure how to use it, then keep watching and I will show you some of the tips and tricks that I use to produce both large and small frames.